Fries, what the corkboard are you doing? Isn't it pretty clear, Pin? I figured it out yourself. Uh, nothing's poking out at me. Do you see what I have to deal with? This is the last try. All the others have either rotten away, gotten burned by fiery, or were eaten by gelatin. So if I want to stay alive in this hostile Yoil environment, which uh, I kind of want to do, then I'd better get to work at growing potatoes. Ooh, so you're gardening. How cute. <laughs> Whoa, Bummy, what are you doing here? I haven't heard you say anything in a long time. How many lines do you have in this episode again? Two. Huh, I need help loosening the soil, and this hoe isn't even really helping. Do you think you can help me out a bit? What? Fries, what do you mean? Oh, you know... Sorry for annoying you earlier, Fries, but I must say, I'm glad you're growing potatoes. I've missed their taste ever since we moved to Yo-Yo Land, since they don't grow here. Hold up, I thought potatoes couldn't grow here. Too little sun or something. I was thinking the same thing, but Tennis Ball... Oh, Tennis Ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. He warns me there might be side effects, but at this point I'm desperate, so whatever. Ooh, Grow Tatoes? Sounds delicious. Oh, listen. Listen, I don't know what your point is, but these Grow Tatoes, they are not for eating, they're for me. Sorry, why is making friends so hard? Hey guys! Whoa, Pin! You lost your color too? Just like me. What are you talking about, Nickel? You've always been gray. Anyway, Golf Ball told me she could extract the red pigment from my body and reshape it into my new limbs, since they have the same chemical structure. Isn't Golf Ball the best? She always knows how to solve everything. Hey, Pin, what you got going on here? Trying to make friends with fries. He's growing grow tatoes. Ooh, grow tatoes? TB told me those things are gonna taste delicious! I sure hope so. I'll be the first to eat one. In fact, I'll try one right now. Coiny, they've barely begun growing. You need to be 20 times more patient. Sheesh, you need to calm down. Take a deep breath. You know, a deep fried breath. Oh my t- So, Pin, it's been about six months. How do your new limbs feel? Still a little tingly, but getting better. Hey, coin creature. Guess what I got? It's a wall teleporter. Wow, that is so cool. My absolute favorite thing in the whole world. Also, what's a wall teleporter? Well, according to the instructions on the back, it can teleport anybody through a wall of up to six inches in width. But it can only teleport one person at a time. Pretty amazing technology, if you ask me. Hey, the tiny loser chambers walls are five inches thick. Now that is one lucky coincidence. We can finally free my boys, SB, Pen, and Blocky, and we can also free Eraser too. Oh, that's a good idea. But the tiny loser chamber is also inside the locker of losers, which adds another five inches of metal wall. Actually, on the second page of instructions, there's Ultra Power Mode, which allows you to teleport through walls of up to 12 inches, but it'll take several weeks to charge up for such an extreme energy usage. Well, that's not too bad. Those 40 or so guys have been waiting to be freed for three to four years. A few extra weeks can't hurt them. Oh yeah, you're right. Guys, let's head over to the LOL now. Fries, do you want to come with us? It'll be fun. Uh, it's fine. I'm pretty busy right now. These grotatoes need to end up perfect.